Hi, I'm Obi Jo, and here at Tomahawk Ranch, one of our favorite things to do here is um, have fun with clay. Um, we like to do all sorts of different kinds of pottery and make all sorts of different things out of clay. Um, we have a few examples here, it's just some like fun little projects um, that were made out of this terracotta clay. Just a fun little like um, mandrake here. Um, we have this like toothpick turtle holder here. Um, you can paint the terracotta clay um, with acrylic paint and what that will do is just kind of like harden the outside. So acrylic paint is really great to be using um, at, on this air dry clay after it dries. Um, we have a cute little um, dragon dinosaur guy right here. Um, so neither one of these, you can kind of see the effect of um, not being painted and then being painted with um, acrylic. Over here um, are two different pots that were made with um, firing clay. So this one is um, what is called a coil plot pot. I'm gonna show you um, how to make a coil pot. We're not actually gonna be glazing um, today, but um, we would love for you to join us for like a two week program um, and learn how to fire and glaze your own clay. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to make um, two different pots. One is a pinch pot and um, one is a coil pot but um, we're going to do it with this air dry clay here. Um, so I'm just gonna grab my wire, um, cut a piece here. When, it doesn't matter like if you're firing with clay or working with um, an air dry clay like this, and you want to make sure to work out those air bubbles um, because that's when like cracks um, and breaks will happen very easily in your clay or in your project. Um, you'll notice the poor little guy right here, um, a little bit of his tail was busted. Um, so, and a little bit of it has been like glued back together. Um, but you can kind of see like a lot of times that's what happens um, when there's a lot of air in your clay. Um, just things will like break a lot easier um, when they're drying or for firing clay, um, when you go to fire it, it'll literally like kind of explode your piece or crack your piece in the kiln. So you wanna make sure that you really get um, all those air bubbles out. So what we're gonna do though, um, the clay definitely needs like a little bit more moisture. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of like work the clay. I'll let that guy sit there for a minute. Um, so what I have here is just a bucket of water um, with a sponge. Um, but one of the easiest ways to um, essentially prep your clay and to get those air bubbles out is to really um, just kind of bang it and throw it down on your working palette here. And what I'm gonna do now is essentially try and form it um, into a um, ball to start with my pinch pot. So I roughly have a ball shape, as you can see. Um, and what I'm gonna do is come in here, I'm gonna get it pretty wet, uh, the top here, and I'm just gonna push in to my pot and it's gonna take a long time but essentially um, as you can see you're just gonna kind of push in and you're um, creating a hole in here and you're just gonna keep pinching um, once you have your hole big enough you can kind of go around like what I'm doing here and pinch the sides like so, kind of bringing it up, smoothing these edges down, using a little bit of water and a little bit of slip to do so. So, 
Um, as you'll see, I kind of made a little pinch pot, um, evened it out a bit, and um, we'll just set it aside to dry. So there's my pinch pot. So now on to my coil pot. So you'll start with another ball, like so. And what we're gonna do is start rolling it out. And we're gonna make like a long snake kind of looking thing. like so and then what you'll do is you're going to score your piece of clay to do so you're going to take your scoring utensil and start making tiny little score marks into your clay like so Um, the reason you want to scour um, your piece of clay um, is so that it glues together. Um, that's essentially how you glue um, one piece of clay to another. Um, you then want to get it either a little bit wet um, or use a little bit of slip. We're just going to kind of, might use my sponge here, we're just going to kind of give it a little dab. There we go. All right, like so. And then we're gonna wrap it on um, itself. So, like so. Try and keep my scouring bits, my scoring bits kind of down, as you can see. Um, so my clay got a bit dry. You can kind of see it cracking a little bit, but I'm just gonna kind of do that. Um, I'm gonna score that little bit right there just to make sure that it glues down really well. And I just wanna make sure it's like nice and tight. is the base of my coil pot. Now, what I'm gonna do is create another coil. Um, I want it to be about the same thickness um, of this, so I just started with another ball, um, rolled it out in my hands, and now I'm just making um, another one of those coils. So now, I'm gonna take my scoring tool. Um, you can also use, so like I have this stick here on the side as well. Um, you can also use this guy. Um, you're just looking for like something kind of pointy. So you can also use them. But um, I'm gonna scour on the um, outside coil of my pot. do a little bit of um, scoring over here. Cool. Alright. And I'm going to add a little bit of 
pin this again. Okay, and essentially glue that down. Go all the way around. And then, so my piece is a bit extra long. Um, so what I can do is just keep going around. So when I do so, um, I just wanna, again, make sure that I'm scoring. And the inside like this before I place it down. And go around like so. Keep scoring. Right. And like so. Um, you can just keep going around and going around and going around um, until you have uh, this kind of desired like coil um, method going all the way around. Alrighty, and there we go. There is a little coil pot. Um, I just ended up finishing them up. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, we're now gonna go to the wheel and I'm gonna show you how to throw. All right, so here I am at the potter wheel. Um, this particular wheel is an electric wheel. Um, so it's just hooked into electricity and I have like a pedal down here um, that just allows me to push it down and the wheels start going. Um, you may have seen like other wheels that are more kick wheels. Um, those provide much more of a workout. Um, but um, so, I like the electric ones just obviously because of the ease of it. Um, so as you can see, um, I ended up forming my clay um, into that cone shape. So when I throw it down on my wheel here, um, I'm gonna be throwing it down um, the cone side um, down. All right, and I'm just gonna take my piece and throw it down kind of right in the middle. Um, so as you can see, um, I want to, when I'm using my wheel, um, I'm gonna keep kind of my elbows in. Um, I'm gonna straddle my wheel so I think I'm gonna get a bit closer. Um, so that way when I get into my piece, I'm using a lot of my body weight um, when I work it. So what I'm doing now is um, I've got my piece on there and um, I'm just kind of wanting to round it out a bit. Form the center, you'll press down until you're about a half an inch from the bottom, at which point you will begin to create the walls by pinching the sides of your heart. Um, there you go, there is um, how to throw. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for this pottery lesson that I um, hope to see um, you in the future here at Tomahawk. So thank you so much.